So the checklist for this video is as follows. We will learn how to connect Remix ID to the MetaMask wallet. The MetaMask wallet is connected to the Sepolia network. So we are connecting Remix ID to the Sepolia network. Then we will deploy the storage contract to the Sepolia network. We will discuss the deployment transaction cost. Finally, we will interact with the deployed contract. First, make sure the MetaMask wallet is unlocked. If not, type in the wallet password and unlock it. Ensure we are connected to a Sepolia testnet and we have enough balance in the wallet address. Make sure the contract is compiled. Go to the deploy and run transaction tab. For the environment, select injected provider MetaMask. This will trigger MetaMask to confirm the remix connection to the selected wallet address. Confirm. Once the connection is established, we can see it under the environment in Remix ID with the network name and ID. We can see it in the MetaMask. The Remix ID will show the balance for the wallet address under the environment also. Next, click Deploy. Now, MetaMask will ask us to sign the deployment transaction. Here we can see the summary of the transaction. We can see the estimated transaction cost and also the fee varies according to the network condition. So we can specify our tolerance, which is the maximum transaction cost. We can also see the estimated transaction time. If we click on the pencil symbol, we can edit the transaction fee. There, MetaMask provides us with three max fees based on the time of transaction commit, which basically means more fee, faster commit. The network status includes the current base fee for entering the block, the priority fee or tip for the validators, and the current network usage. If we want more fine control over the fees, click on Advanced. Here, we can manually specify the max base fee and priority fee in Gigaway, also the gas limit for executing the transaction. Anyway, click Save and confirm the transaction. The fee and transaction time will be low because this is a test network. Wait for it to finish. We can check the progress in MetaMask and it's done. We can see the deployed contract in Remix. If you click on the transaction in MetaMask, you can see the transaction received. For more details, click View on Block Explorer. Okay, so the Ether scan is indexing the transaction. Now, here we can see the details like contract deployment address, address of the deployed contract, transaction cost, etc. Let us go back to the Remix ID, expand the deployed contract instance. Let us try storing a number 123. This is a transaction, so MetaMask will ask us for signing and confirming the transaction. Confirm and wait for it to finish. It is done. Now we can try retrieving the value. And we got the stored number back. As you may notice, this time when we executed the retrieve function, MetaMask didn't ask for sign and confirmation. Why? This is because the retrieve function is a read function and reading from the blockchain does not have any transaction cost. Thank you.